You really do, Val and Terrell. This shop has been hit several times, and right now they are picking up the pieces yet again after another crash and grab. You can see all of the damage here. The shop 147 has been in this location on Stony Island for 17 years, but the store, store owner says it might be time to move out. At around 3 o'clock this morning, surveillance video shows a group of thieves using a Jeep to crash into the storefront of this retail shop in the South Shore neighborhood. Several people start grabbing high-priced merchandise, then they leave the Jeep and get away in cars waiting outside. The owner of the shop 147 in the 7200 block of South Stony Island prefers to remain anonymous, but says this is the fourth time his business has been hit. The damage this time, upwards of $100,000. I don't think we are able to last a lot longer, you know, in a business environment like this. We definitely have to eventually move out of here. Not only is this the fourth time his shop has been targeted, the store owner says thieves tried to ram into his metal gates yesterday, but were not successful. Instead, coming back overnight to try again. It was really shocking, and actually, uh, it's it's beyond imagination what's going on and what's happening. And what's sad is this is happening all over the city. Larry Tankson owns TAC Karate next door. He says this is bad for the growth of the community. We already have a food uh, desert here. And so it's just going to drive more business away, which means you got to travel further, and it just brings the neighborhood down. Meanwhile, the store owner of Shop 147 would like to put metal posts in front of his business to protect the storefront, but he says the city won't allow barriers on the sidewalk, so he feels defenseless. I feel like this is a beautiful city, and uh, we all want a better Chicago. We all want a better Chicago, and uh, I hope this problem get under control. Back here live, the Jeep that was used to crash through this storefront was stolen. The owners of the vehicle tell me it was snatched off the street about a half hour before this crash and grab happened. Meanwhile, police say so far, no one is in custody. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.